Sun Devil Hockey welcomed Alaska Fairbanks into Mullet Arena this weekend, officially sweeping the series on Saturday night. This is the first time ASU has gotten two consecutive wins over the Nanook since the 2018 and 19 season. ASU is now one of only seven schools in the NCAA with 20 wins this season. The ever iconic Arizona State power play and Matthew Copperud were both back in action here tonight as the Devils were able to score on three of four power play opportunities. Matthew Copperud tallied up two of those goals, allowing him to break the previous record of power play goals scored in a single season. The record was previously set by himself. You know, as a staff and then to the team pregame, um, really focused on winning the special teams battle. We knew that. Had we win the special teams battle in that game, we had a really good chance to win it. And obviously the power play was tremendous and went, you know, three for four, really three for three. The last one, we were just trying to keep the puck and eat clock. Um, so they were perfect. The kill was perfect. Gibby was great again. It was just a good team win. This series was a huge one for a few players, one of which being Ty Jackson. He was injured in the game against Colorado College on December 1st, but came back for this series and was able to contribute in both games. Goaltender Gibson Homer also shined throughout this series with his first career shutout on Friday night and 30 saves in goal on Saturday night. The team definitely felt secure having him between the pipes. 100%. I mean, if you guys don't see what he does off the ice, you just saw him in the games, but that kid has worked so hard in the past two years to do what he did this weekend, and it was awesome seeing him good for him. Probably uh, he'll have a good time tonight. <laughs> The Sun Devils are still fighting for a spot in the NCAA tournament after this series, and their hopes are still alive. The Maroon and Gold are going into a bye week and then heading up to Alaska to play their independent rivals once again on the 23rd. For Cronkite Sports, I'm Marina Williams.